And, you know, this is why the magazine is so, um, I think, well We really do show people that it is not unusual to be happy. <laughs> and you can find people everywhere, including um, Hallie Williams. And she, you know, she had, takes it from a place of uh, personal. She has an attitude of gratitude. Anybody can pick this up and go, gosh, you know, this is a great idea. I can take an attitude of gratitude and apply it to my own life. So thank you for that insight. I think it's great, too, that she's a great role model for so many people out there. And you also focus on giving, and that is something that people need to do more about throughout the year, not just during the holidays. And, you know, that is so true, and it is truly one of our top ten of uh, true happiness. When you give happiness, you receive happiness. And it is something that literally is simply something you can just choose to do. Um, it, you know, it's really not very difficult. If you are opening a door, you're giving happiness. If Absolutely. you're giving a smile, yeah. you're giving happiness. You know, our mantra has always been, when your joy comes from giving, you can never be disappointed. Mm -hmm. That's so true. That's really fantastic. If the only way you have joy is by receiving something, you're often disappointed. Yeah. But if, but if giving is what brings you l pure joy, then uh, then you're, you're in control of it and you can do it anytime you want. Um, this is a great alternative to some of the negative magazines that you see at the checkout yeah. stand, right? You're not kidding. Yeah. I, I'd pick this one up before I'd pick up any of the other ones. They're just so well, nasty. You know, it is it's so true mm -hmm. because uh, even people who, as you mentioned, musicians, people assume that, you know, high-paid actors are the most jaded people on the earth. And here we have Chris O'Donnell yeah. on our cover. Right. And his story is one of about family values. Family comes first. He made great choices throughout his career. And he is this person who is the most kind, loving, and generous person. And everybody he comes in contact with comes away with the same impression. It's true, it's believable, and it's a really great example of somebody who, like you said, you know, is coming from a, a, an area of somewhat, you know, um, uh, different kinds of, of personas. So here's this living, happy guy. Yeah, absolutely, and, and just a vibrant cover as well. Well, good luck with this, and I think you're making the world a better place with this. Carol DeWolf Nickel, uh, the you. book, the, the magazine is Live Happy, and, and uh, I guess you can get it anywhere. There's a website for it, livehappy.com. And uh, Carol, thank you for being on the air with us today. Thank you so much, uh, Mary and Robin. Such a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, and live happy. And, and <laughs> thank you for what you're doing for the world. You're making the world a better place. And that, that might sound corny, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm okay with being corny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, we'll take a little break. We'll be right back. I'm Major George Patterson from the Salvation Army. Please stop by our family store at 120 Northwest 10th Street in Ocala, where on Wednesday you have a 50% off clothing and bric-a-brac. On Friday, 25% off furniture and large appliances. And on Saturday, stop by to our yard sale from 845 to 11. Donations can be made by calling 352-732-4469 and we'll pick it up. Funds from the store go toward the services that we provide in Marion County. Habitat for Humanity of Marion County is a ministry dedicated to improving lives by providing affordable and decent housing. Help them help others by visiting the Habitat for Humanity Ocala Restore at 926 Northwest 27th Avenue. To schedule a donation, give us a call at 401-0075 and we'll come pick it up. For more information, visit ocalarestore.org. Habitat for Humanity of Marion County. Building homes, building hope, building community. Here are today's headlines from the source, WOCA. Ocala Fire Rescue is reporting that firefighters responded to an apartment complex yesterday to find flames coming from a detached building containing eight garages. Assistant Chief Michael Alsup stated that 19 firefighters responded to 5001 Southwest 20th Street, also known as Carlton Arms Apartments, at 221 p.m., and it took 20 minutes to get the fire under control. One garage containing a vehicle was destroyed, and several others sustained fire and smoke damage. 
The Ocala Police Department is reporting the arrest of a 45-year-old man charged with armed robbery and strong-arm robbery after walking into the SunTrust Bank at 111 Southwest 17th Street in Ocala and demanding money. The man is identified as Andrew Douglas Bento. According to the report, Bento was wearing a hard hat and safety vest when he entered the bank just after 9 a.m. and handed the teller a note. He left minutes later with a little more than $500, according to the police report. Witnesses saw Bento run from the bank and remove the hat and vest along with a t-shirt before going into the Comfort Motel at 1850 South Pine Avenue. Bento has also been identified as the suspect in a March 19th purse snatching at Monroe Regional Medical Center. Bento admitted to the crimes according to the report. Bento was booked into the Marion County Jail in lieu of a $60,000 bond. A Florida Highway Patrol trooper has been released from the hospital after sustaining minor injuries while escorting the body of a trooper who was killed over the weekend to the funeral home. Trooper Kevin Brown was sent to the village's hospital when a Mercedes sedan collided with his motorcycle near the intersection of U.S. 27 and County Road 466 in Lady Lake. He was escorting the body of recently deceased trooper Chelsea Richard, who was 30 years old. Richard died when a pickup hauled a trailer driven by 22-year-old Troy Owens of Ocala, left the roadway, struck Richard's squad car, and then hit her and the driver of a vehicle from an earlier accident as well as the tow truck driver assisting him. All three died in that crash. All three had been standing on the grassy shoulder of southbound I-75 at the time they were hit. Funeral arrangements for Trooper Richard will be Thursday afternoon at the First Baptist Church of Ocala on Southeast Maricamp Road, scheduled for 2 p.m. The other funeral arrangements have not been reported to the media. Locating a new nursing home for aging veterans in Marion County has become a top priority for the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs and is being pushed by U.S. Representative Rich Nugent. The VA has ranked Marion County 17th nationally among the top 100 construction projects the agency has identified in the current budget, according to VA documents and U.S. Representative Rich Nugent's office. Records indicate the VA has set aside $928 million for those projects, with the federal government ready to commit up to $23.5 million toward the proposed 120-bed home in Florida. Nugent has urged the agency to recognize the care needed by aging veterans in this part of the state, and now the VA has made the nursing home the agency's top-ranked new construction project in this year's budget. Although Marion County is formally named, the ultimate location will be determined by the Florida Department of Veterans Affairs. Nugent has written letters to Governor Rick Scott and retired Army Colonel Mark Prendergast, executive director of the FDVA, to locate the facility in the Ocala area. In the letters, Nugent notes that a facility in Marion County could serve not only the 45,000 military veterans within the community, but roughly another 600,000 who live in two dozen surrounding counties. And those are the headlines from the source WOCA 96.3 FM and 1370 AM. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Life jackets save lives. We're in Florida. A nice day today with mostly sunny skies. Our afternoon high 85 on the coast to near 90 inland. Clear tonight, though 63 inland, 69 on the coast. Tomorrow, sunny to partly cloudy with a high of 86 at the coast, 91 inland. More the same.